Hello guys, my name is Static Gaming, and today I'm going to be going over the PUBG Gamescom crate once again. So for the few of you who might not know what the Gamescom crate is, it is a crate in PUBG that was released in August last year, and it was only available for a short period of time until it was discontinued. Now I bought like 15 of them when they were here at €2.80 towards the end of September. And then I bought another 10 of them in October for like €3.70. And then the price of this crate just exploded because of speculation and hype for its low quantity. And the price jumped to over €7 Euro in November. But since then it has fallen to under €2. Euro. Why is this? Well, it's because of all the crates that PUBG has put out so far throughout 2018. So there's just so many new items and crates that nobody wanted to open Gamescom crates. So they all wanted to open all the newer crates and this meant that demand for the Gamescom crate just went down and with that the price just kept on falling. So I told about 20 of mine in February for about 5 euro each. So I did make quite a bit of money on them. I still have a few in my inventory. Now the question for this episode is how low can Gamescom go? So on the Steam market right now it sits at about 1 euro 80 cent with 87,000 listings which honestly is quite a lot since survivor crates have about 110,000 listings and wander crates have about 56,000 listings. There are a lot more wander and survivor crates in inventories but if you just think practically here who is opening Gamescom crates anymore? Nobody is pretty much. Everyone wants gun skins or the latest items in the game. It'd be like opening a Chroma 2 case in CSGO. Nobody's doing that and because people want the newest skins and they want the newest gloves. They want all the newest items. I think in the build up of the price of the Gamescom crate, people did not anticipate that PUBG would just rapid fire with cases in 2018. They put out two each month so far which is crazy. But at the end of the day this crate goes down in history and years from now people will look back and say this was the first crate when there was a eSport tournament for PUBG. But is that worth €1.80? I don't think so and in fact I believe Gamescom could go below a euro. So I think we could see it like around 90 cent or something but if I saw it dip below a euro I'd probably buy and just hold for like the super long run. Because everyone needs to realise that in the short run Gamescom crates are completely dead and that's just a fact. And I know I used to be big up on Gamescom crates but in investing things change and after all these crates that have been released my opinion of the case changed. But for anyone with Gamescom crates you need to understand that you're playing the long game here. You gotta hope that the PUBG fan base stays strong, maybe grows over the next like year, and that the future of PUBG will be massive in the esports scene, so that people will want to own that first esport related case. So those are my opinions on the current state of the Gamescom crate. We have actually passed 1000 subscribers and I will definitely be making a video on that real soon. Uh, I just thank you guys so much. So that is it for this episode of Steam Market Investment Tips and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.